Today the topic of the class is compare the impulse invariant and bilinear transformation. In previous class we have seen in detail about impulse invariant transformation as well bilinear transformation topic and their problems. You can refer these concepts in the previous video classes. Today I have explained four comparisons of impulse invariant and bilinear transformation in this video. Okay, before going into detail of the comparison, let us see what is these two techniques. Digital filters are of two types FIR filter and IAR filter. We are doing IAR filter topic. So, IAR filter design is an indirect method, design of IAR filter is an indirect method. Why it is indirect? Because first we have to find the transfer function h of s which is analog filter transfer function and then we are transforming it to the digital filter h of s is analog transfer analog filter transfer function and h of z is digital filter transfer function so first we have to design h of s and then transform it either in by using impulse variant in invariant or bilinear transformation to get h of z Okay, so, we say the design of IAR filter is indirect method. The key equation for doing impulse invariant transformation is A i by S plus P i. We have to write the given H of S in the in this form A i by S plus P i and then we are applying impulse invariant by applying this equation to it A i by 1 minus e to the power minus p i capital T z to the power minus 1. So, we have to uh, write h of s in this form and then transform to get h of z. p i value is this one and t is a sampling period which will be given in the question. If it is not mentioned in the question, you can take capital T as 1 second. The key equation for bilinear transformation is s is equal to 2 by t 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse. So, in the given h of s, in the h of s, we have to substitute this s value in h of s, this equation to get h of z. Okay. So, coming to the comparison of impulse invariant and bilinear transformation, the first point under impulse invariant is it is many to one mapping the which is known as aliasing effect. Aliasing is the drawback of impulse invariant method. Okay? In the drawback of impulse invariant transformation is aliasing. What is aliasing? Many to one mapping. Bilinear transformation the first point is it is one to one mapping. Okay, so, there is no aliasing effect in bilinear transformation. Impulse invariant is many to one, bilinear transformation is one to one mapping. Second point, the relation between analog and digital frequency is linear. Under impulse invariant, the, the relation between digital frequency omega and analog frequency ohm is linear. Omega is equal to ohm capital T. The relation between analog and digital frequency is non-linear under bilinear transformation. Omega is digital frequency, ohm is analog frequency. Omega is equal to 2 tan inverse of ohm capital T by 2. Third point is to prevent the problem of aliasing to prevent the problem of aliasing the analog filter should be band limited. Under bilinear transformation there is no problem of aliasing and so the analog filter need not be band limited. The fourth point under impulse invariant is the magnitude and phase response of analog filter can be preserved by choosing low sampling time or high sampling frequency the magnitude and phase response of the analog filter can be preserved in impulse invariant technique. Coming to bilinear transformation due to the effect of wrapping, 
the phase response of analog filter cannot be preserved, but the magnitude response can be preserved by pre wrapping. Okay. So, how can we do pre wrapping? Ohm P is equal to 2 by capital T tan of omega P by 2 and ohm S that is a stop band analog frequency is equal to 2 by T tan of omega S by 2. So, the four points are for impulse invariant it is one it is many to one mapping by linear transformation is one to one mapping. The relation between analog and digital frequency is linear whereas, in bilinear it is non-linear. There is no problem of aliasing in bilinear transformation. I hope you have understood the comparison. If you have any queries you can post in the comment section. Thank you, good luck students.